Hi there, this is Pete Howard, director of concert posters for Heritage Auctions. How can, you, how can you not be excited at a round concert poster like this, especially when the graphics are so spellbinding, right? I mean, take a look at this. No less than the doors in the spring of 1967 in the heart of Hollywood, California, on the Sunset Strip in the Kaleidoscope Club. Oh, boy, this is such a special poster. You've probably seen kaleidoscopes before if you're watching this blog, but if you're not, you're thinking, wow, they really do that? Yeah, they really did it. And this is the only series of circular concert posters ever made, basically, in the psychedelic era. And I can't even think of a single round psychedelic, or let's put it this way, single round concert poster of any kind that I've seen. There must be one once in a while. But, you know, the Kaleidoscope Club was really known for these, and they are simply, simply the coolest. And, you know, it's, you might say to yourself, oh, how do you frame it? Well, they're highly frameable. I've seen um, circular kaleidoscopes in a frame, both matted with a round matting and unmatted, you know, with just a nice backdrop, and they look great. They look great. They're just so charismatic already with that shape. They're just like a winner right out of the gate. And so, um, boy, three nights in the spring of 1967 again, so that's uh, April 21 through 23 of 67, and Sunday the 23rd was actually a afternoon matinee. Boy. The Doors in an afternoon matinee before they were famous, and I mean just before they were famous, because after that Sunday matinee, on Monday, hmm, Electra Records says, we kind of like Light My Fire on your guys' album. Let's put that out as a single. That's right. On Monday, Light My Fire was released as a single, and they'd never be the same. You know, they, they, they'd change pop history after that, rock history, whatever. And so to think that this is their last concert poster before the world started to find out who the Doors were. And it's amazing that it's such a gorgeous poster when they were still, we have to say, unknown. I mean, so you're thinking, well, wait a minute, their album, their first album's great. It's an AOR classic, where was that, top 10? Uh, no, it was at number 123 <laughs> on Billboard's album chart at the time that this weekend shows. So that, you know, it just demonstrates the doors were just on the launching pad, right? Ready to blow up and what a gorgeous piece to be at that point. Wow, we just can't get over it. Take a look at these graphics. I mean, you've got blue and lavender print on this hot, shocking pink background. Wow. I mean, the expense of doing this and then the psychedelic lettering all over it, isn't that fun? You got the doors right up there at the top, you know, and you have to like, you look at a lot of this lettering to really know exactly what it says. And right below the doors, you've got the UFO. I think they were just, you know, known as UFO, but, you know, poster artists would do that sometimes, put a the there. And then the peanut butter conspiracy off to the right. And what's sort of surprising and interesting is that the artist even, you know, included images of the peanut butter conspiracy as the second build band. So that's pretty crazy. But I'll tell you, this Doors imagery, all printed in, in lavender, just take a look at that. You've got Jim Morrison right there in the middle with that, you know, his um, unmistakable lips, you could say, and his nose, um, the rest of them is a little bit hidden. Off to the left, Ray Manzarek with those trademark glasses. You can't miss those for sure. And then, of course, off to the right, you've got Robbie Krieger and John Densmore. And I like the way the Kaleidoscope Club just like arches around underneath two of the chins. Just really a lot of really fun psychedelic lettering on this. And number two, see that number two under the there? Well, the, the, the Kaleidoscope did about a couple dozen of these circular posters. And this is number two. And what's interesting is, you know, strictly to go commerce or capitalistic here for a second, it's the only money piece in the Kaleidoscope series. Even though the dead and the airplane and so forth are on other Kaleidoscopes, this is the set breaker. This is the, you know, the big one that everybody wants and is the scarcest, the rarest. Um, and uh, it's, um, you know, it's, I, I mean, we got like, we, we haven't sold it in my tenure here uh, at Heritage, which is now five and a half years. So we've had it twice before in our history. And the last time was $8,000, but that was a good number of years ago. So, whew, so the Kaleidoscope Club, by the way, was a name, not a building. And so the promoter who had the Kaleidoscope would had to use a couple of different venues during those two dozen, you know, posters that he did. And what's killer is that this, on this occasion, it even says so on the poster, the venue was Ciro's on the Sunset Strip. That was one hot place. A lot of mid-60s Los Angeles rock history happened there. 
In fact, on one of the Birds albums, on the back it shows a picture of no less than Bob Dylan on stage with the Birds um, at, taken at Ciro's. So that's really a jump in place it was, and so that's really nice. So Now, um, I've crowed <laughs> about the colors on this poster and the hot pink background and everything, but uh, wait till you get a load of this surprise. And, oh my goodness, really? Look at that. Wow, it's like a explosive orange under a purple black light. Boy, if that wouldn't look great in a psychedelic music pad or something with a purple tube black light, I don't know what would. Just a marvelous, marvelous element of this poster. So that if that's not a cherry on the cake, I don't know what that definition means. Just awesome coloring on this thing. Holy cat. So ah, once again, a gem from the David Schwartz Concert Poster Collection. And David's specific auction takes place on Tuesday, December 3rd. And on either side of him is music memorabilia on the 2nd, regular concert posters on the 4th. But David's fantastic collection, this auction's installment, is on Tuesday, December 3rd. And to uh, read all about it and see more pictures, just go to ha.com slash 7383.